Hello, I'm here with Rob Smith, the Clinic Director at Care London, and he is about to do an ICSI procedure, and he's going to talk us through. So, Rob, you know, in terms of embryology, how do you choose sort of which egg to use for ICSI? Well, what we do, Zisa, is we, when we collect all the eggs, we don't know how many mature. You can only inject a mature egg. So once we've collected them, we remove all these cells from them and identify which ones are mature. So what I've got it here on the screen now is a mature egg, and I'm just about to put a sperm directly into the centre of it to start the fertilisation process. Now, the maturity of the egg is very important because immature eggs cannot fertilise and we're not allowed to inject them. So you don't know this once you've collected the eggs initially from the patients when they're asleep. So only once we've done additional lab procedures we're able to identify those healthy mature eggs and then... And this looks healthy. And this mature, looks like a yeah. perfectly healthy egg. So I'm just getting my sperm to the end of the tip of my needle and I'll be injecting it just into the egg there. I'm pushing the sperm in and then I'm going to aspirate a bit of the egg out just to break its membrane and then deposit the sperm into the center of the egg just like that. And that was perfect. So we'll keep our fingers crossed, put this back in the incubator overnight and see if fertilization takes place. Rob, that looks like it went really well. Yeah, absolutely. That was. Uh, textbook perfect yeah. and that's just what we would like to do in the lab for every single egg we inject. However, despite that being a great example of an ICSI and the egg looking nice and mature, it doesn't necessarily mean yeah. it will fertilise. There's yeah. lots more factors um, regarding fertilisation and whether or not that will actually happen. Only tomorrow, once we get this egg back out of the incubator, will we know if the, uh, if the sperm has actually fertilised that egg. 